Who are you? It's Beer Drink, and today not only are we reviewing a brew, but we're also reviewing the new Rode Wireless Go To, aka we're gonna find out if the Rode Wireless Go To is a go to. It's the actual transmitter, built in, built in mic transmitter. I got two lavaliers on the way, they should be in the mail from Amazon on Thursday. But y'all know I don't want to talk specs. I want to get out and do. That's why I decided to come to the park and sip on a brew and review the Rode Wireless Go 2. But also aside from that, we're going to show and prove that the built-in mic transmitter on the wireless go to is good enough and passable for video. With my EQ and compression, I know that I can make it passable. So what I'm gonna do is do half of the beer review audio straight out of the micro camera. Half of the beer review out of the camera in the second half, maybe when I snap or do something goofy like how YouTubers do, it's gonna be EQ and compressed. And also I'm gonna show you how I EQ'd and compressed the raw audio from the go to to make it sound like it was shot in Maker Studio. I swear it's been such a long time since I've vlogged. If you went, whoa, shit, deer. Them niggas was that close to an ass whoop. I'm trying to find a decent spot to do this beer review. I should do it underneath here, which is a bridge. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Do a beer review in this motherfucker. I'm such a Mic sensitivity, the receiver is at low. All right, man, absolute change of plan. Just walking down this fucking trail. I've already caught three mosquitoes just chilling on my bare skin. I gotta get the fuck out of here. This is the reason, this is why I don't do nature photography. This is why I rarely come outside. And this is why I don't vlog too much. But it's always mad fucking mosquitoes everywhere out. I, I don't trust that. Fuck, dude, nothing's working. <laughs> nothing's working, holy shit, anyway. I gotta get the fuck. Well, hopefully at least I got a decent test of the audio to be outside with like, ambient noise, nature sounds, crickets, a little bit of wind, cars going by, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe something will come out of this bullshit video. Holy shit. <laughs> so I guess I'll be reviewing this whore at the house. Who are you? Pixie Mix is a grape goza brewed out of Wis Wasakotsin, Wisconsin by a brewery by the name of Untitled Arts, 5.5% alcohol brewed straight out of Wis 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 Winnetoba, Wisconsin. This is a grape goza, beautiful um, artwork there. Grape Kool-Aid packet on the, on the packaging. Look at, I'm probably gonna like it. Sorry, sue me. Let's go ahead and get straight into this beer. Mind you, this is a gluten-free beer. I'm pouring it straight into a glass that you, this transparent, and of course, that's exactly what I was thinking. Ooh, it smells like grape soda from here, super, super carbonated. I haven't had a beer this carbonated in a long time. Like, you can literally see the bubbles shooting up out of the glass. Wow, this smell, this is powerful. It smells like dime tap. Let me know in the comments below, do you call it dime tap or dime -a tap? Dime -a tap, because it's not really spelled D-I-M-A. It's spelled D-I-M-E, like the smallest nickel in the bunch. But yeah, definitely grape rings out of this bitch like a son of a whore. Almost smells like a grape, uh, what do you call that candy? I haven't had that shit in probably 15 years because I don't pay 10 cents for candy anymore. Godiva, ever heard of? Now and later! I see what they were going for with this beer. <laughs> kind of funny that they don't really put a beer style on the can. Grape, I guess that's what kind of beer it is. I guess it's a grape, 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 grape. Ale <laughs> out of Manitoba, New Mexico. It tastes like grape, that's for sure. Does it taste like beer? Nah. It tastes like a liquid lollipop. <laughs> Shout out to Untitled Arts for their Pixie Mix liquid grape lollipop freeze pop, whatever the fuck you want to, that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a great freeze pop. You know them little fucking plastic expenditures that you kind of put in your back pocket and then they freeze when you fart and then after that on a hot rainy day, you pull it out and you push it up and then you shove it down your thing like a procreation. Why would we call it pro, <coughs> why would we call it procreation? Pro is like, a positive and 
there's something really wrong with heterosexual males having sex with heterosexual females. In this day and age, just read any normal news on the newspaper page. And I'm not gonna front. This isn't of the beer persuasion to me at all. It doesn't taste like a beer. It just tastes like, it almost tastes like a, a fruity grape drink that my 15 year old daughter would get at a fucking fair. But, if it is indeed 5.5% alcohol, I guess it's some type of adult beverage. As far as a beer, Get that shit the fuck out of here. This is grape soda. Very lightly syruped grape soda. Soda. But is it enjoyable to drink? Yeah, tastes good. But I would not classify this as a beer. And truthfully, that's probably the reason why they don't have a beer style on the can. This is probably just an alcoholic grape drink. On a scale of zero to five on this beer review, I'm going to null and void this out. I'm not going to give it a rating. I'm going to say it's a thumbs up as far as taste, drinkability, because it is very crushable. It's something that you could definitely drink a couple of. At 5.5% alcohol by volume, it's nothing that's going to really get you. I could, have a, I, I could have a few of these, but if anyone were to ask me what I was drinking, I would tell them exactly what I said when I opened it. I don't know. That was good as fuck, but I was kind of in the mood for a bit.